Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam. Uh, this is kind of a mid-June update video on some projects I have going on in my yard and uh, over at the garden center. I've only gotten up one video this week and it was uh, putting some lantana cuttings into this propagation house here in my backyard. Uh, I had the intent on Wednesday of shooting video all day. Uh, my neighbor got a new driveway on Wednesday and it's right behind this fence. It was very, very loud. Happy for them, but it was the day I was gonna be shooting several videos and then editing them uh, to, to put up over the weekend. Uh, that's life. And then uh, yesterday, I'm a North Carolina certified landscape contractor and uh, I, I no longer do any landscape installation, but I don't want to give up my license that I worked hard for and you know took classes for and did testing for and all of those kinds of things. So I maintain my license every year. And in order to do that in the state of North Carolina, we have to have ongoing educational credits every year. Uh, I've waited till the last minute, so I had to spend the entire day yesterday, but it was at a uh, water symposium, uh, and it was an all-day uh, all uh, lectures on uh, uh, how drought's been managed in states that have uh, seen severe drought, like California and, and uh, Florida and Georgia, and we've had severe droughts back in the, uh, um, we had a uh, drought in 02 and a drought in 07. The 07 to into 08 drought was, um, we were, you know, in one of those places where you're 60 days left in water here in the Triangle area. And uh, so it was a lot to be learned. Uh, I think we all know that water is becoming more valuable every day. So I, I enjoyed my day doing that, but it was another day I didn't uh, shoot videos. And I learned a lot, you know, there's a lot of information in that from, um, you know, how we're running our irrigation systems and using more native plants and, um, you know, just lots of things I carried away from that that I'll pass on to you guys. But again, like I said, I didn't get any video shot. So uh, I, I'm, I'm doing this kind of mid-June update video today um, and because I did get some things done. I have gotten some things done off camera in the yard that I wanted to bring you up to date on. So thank you very much for watching this video. So I showed in a video a couple weeks ago where I had put these lines on the ground for where this path is gonna go uh, over here on this side of my house. I have actually removed the mulch from here and it's on the other side of the yard. I'll show you that in a minute, but all these paths have been uh, cleared out and they're ready to go. These baby gem boxwoods have been put in here, just trying to frame some of this out uh, to where it looks like a path. For now, this is just gonna be pine straw. I may be putting in a uh, stone and uh, pea gravel path with a metal edging. Uh, I'll put a picture up right here so you can take a look at that. Uh, let me know what you think about that particular design. It's one I've used on landscape jobs in the past. Uh, these grasses look great here. I used a few of these baby gem boxwoods over here just to um, kind of carry this across. Uh, I think in this area right here is going to end up being native grasses. I had a conversation with someone yesterday who uh, owns a nursery that does uh, native grasses and I think uh, that's what this is going to be here. Uh, native being grasses that are native to North America. Um, again this side over here is still going to be uh, um, perennials that are uh, good for uh, pollinators. So anyway, this is gonna be pine strawed here uh, today, but this was a pretty good sized project here to get all this uh, material out of this space and be ready to define it. The corner of that fence over there is completely coming off. Those um, camellias still need to be moved that are right there. Another decision I've made, and I'm actually about to go pick up these plants as soon as I finish with this video work this morning. These blue girl hollies that are over here there's four of them. Uh, this is a magnolia here, but there's four blue girl hollies right here, and they would eventually create a screen here. They are just far too slow growing uh, for my liking. I really, really would like to uh, uh, get something else in here, and uh, I am going to put a little more emphasis on doing more natives. So these are going to be switched out with some uh, wax myrtles. Uh, wax myrtles a video that I haven't shot, so uh, that will also uh, add something to the channel as well. So. Uh, those four are coming out and and uh, and those four wax myrtles will go in the beginning of the week. I have two crepe myrtles in my yard that have started blooming. Uh, this one right here um, is called Little Plum and it's a dwarf. Um, it's taller than I am but it is considered a dwarf. Uh, I've been able to keep this thing in the uh, four to six foot range, four to seven foot range for about 20 years um, without any problems. Uh, down here on the uh, side past my air conditioning unit. I had planted uh, this crepe myrtle last year. It's gonna end up being moved because these steps are being widened, but this one has started blooming as well. 
I'm in the process of shooting a crepe myrtle video. I've already been to uh, one nursery and uh, one arboretum. The crepe myrtle is blooming everywhere in my area, and I want to do a video with as many named varieties as I can. Unfortunately, uh, you know, I just see a crepe myrtle on the side of the road. I don't necessarily know or can't 100% confirm that that's the variety. So I'm having to do this uh, kind of slowly and, you know, out of my collection of crepe myrtles and uh, other people's uh, named collections of crepe myrtles, uh, tomatoes have absolutely gone wild. I haven't gotten a single tomato yet, but there's a thousand tomatoes in there and they're all going to be ready at the same time, which is how all that works. I get about four to six cucumbers a day, which is more than anybody can eat. I've already started giving them away and uh, green beans, uh, same exact thing. I can fill a bowl uh, almost every day from here. This formal garden is uh, well underway. I haven't done anything here yet, but uh, the materials for this uh, I've, I have in my possession. And we're going to get started on that very soon. But you can now see this area back here is mulched from the mulch that came out of those paths on the other side. So that was a pretty good project to move that from one side of the yard to the other. I transplanted this camellia into this corner and it's doing fine uh, so far. We've had some very, very humid days, which is definitely helping with that. I have three more camellias on the driveway. Uh, two are going there and one is going back here somewhere. So that'll have be a, a nice big evergreen screen right there. I've got three climbing hydrangeas that are gonna go on uh, various trees over here uh, are gonna end up with climbing hydrangeas on them. So they'll be way up in the canopy up here over time uh, with uh, flowering hydrangeas. Over here where this patio is gonna go, all I did was rake that off uh, so far just so I could define the space and have this mulch come around it. There's gonna be a path that goes right here uh, that goes through the middle of this formal garden that's over here. Um, still need some more mulch here, but I'm coming up with more by uh, doing other projects in the yard, so that will take care of itself. Uh, my uh, new neighbor back here that got the driveway works for a rental company and he's um, hooking me up with a uh, stump grinder. Uh, he's already hooked me up with a uh, forklift one time that I needed in a pinch because my forklift wasn't running. So I'm two favors in the hole to a brand new neighbor, but I'll, I'm sure I can uh, make that up with some gardening advice at some point. But uh, anyway, this area back here is coming together and I'm just trying to create some sort of backdrop here for all the other things that are going on. I moved over to the garden center. I'm standing under some beautiful Natchez crepe myrtles up here. These are very beautiful trees. Uh, all season long, I've been testing some uh, organic herbicides in this space going up the side right here. This bottom area, I've been using this uh, uh, citric acid um, spray uh, and it's worked okay. I've had to do it several times really to knock it down. Um, I'm gonna shoot a video on the results of this. Uh, the middle area right up in here was done with a 20% vinegar solution and it definitely killed it dead. The upper part I used Roundup just to, you know, as a comparison uh, for all of them. But I'll do a video on that at that point. I've now since treated the upper part of this with an organic uh, pre-emergent herbicide and the bottom part of it has been done with preen just to see what will come back from um, having killed them without any mulch or without anything. These are pretty tough conditions for any pre-emergent to, uh, to deal with here because it's mostly just almost, it's almost bare dirt. There's a little pine straw left, but it's um, bare dirt showing through everywhere. I've done a third round of testing on the herbicides. Uh, I'm starting a big landscape project here at the corner. Well, I'm not starting it. It's going to happen really, really quickly. A little different than what I'm doing at the house where I'm teaching as I go. Uh, this, um, I've, there's a painted line on the ground right here and there's another painted line I won't go out there in that sun uh, to show you that connects this big big grass area all together right here this is I'm getting a new sign going in here some lighting's going on it and this is going to be completely planted it was sprayed yesterday using three different uh, techniques two organic and one non-organic just to again make a third round of testing uh, before I uh, report on uh, what I think will uh, work well and, and not work well that's being sold um, as, a, as grass, kill, grass and weed killers. So uh, that'll be coming up soon. And this project is gonna happen really, really quickly. Like I say, I don't want my garden center to be a six month project out by the road. And this area along here, which is actually the entrance to my place is right there. It's kind of been ugly all season long uh, while I've been testing these things. So I gotta get, uh, I gotta get all this dressed up and uh, looking good again. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. and. Uh, I look forward to putting up this content over the next couple weeks.